Going to read a verse found in the New Testament of the Bible. If you like your own copy of the Bible, you have it here. This is God's Word, friend, today. Come and take one for yourself and read it. Hear what God has to say to you. You know, yesterday we read a verse that says, Let God be true and every man a liar. So come read what God has to say to you. He not only is it true, but He is actually the only basis of truth. He is the only true way to get to heaven. So I'm going to be reading the book of Luke in chapter 23 and verse 33. One short verse. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and one on the left. I'm just going to really focus on this one point. And, they came, and when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him. You know Calvary? That's where they took the Lord, the Son of God, and nailed him to a cross, mankind. They nailed him to a cross and he suffered there for our sins. You know, it really shows the wickedness of mankind to nail an innocent man there on a the cross. Not only did he not sin, but he could not sin. He did nothing wrong. He was always did that which was right in the sight of God. He was 100% God and 100% man, but man still took him. They didn't like him. They didn't like what they, he had to say, just like many people today. You know, you see someone walk by, they shake their fist at the preacher, or they laugh, or they talk, or they swear, or anything they may do. It's because they don't like what the message has to say to them, what God's word has to say to them. Shows how wicked mankind is, nailing an innocent man there on a cross. You know, when the Lord talks about mankind, he says, our heart, friend, this is your heart today, he says, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things. Who could know it? He said, I, the Lord, I search the heart. I try the reins. He knows every thought you have. Every wicked thought, you'll, you'll be held accountable for it one day. He doesn't only account, hold you accountable for your actions, but your thoughts also. He even says that if you know to do, do if you know to do good and you don't do it, that's sin. So you can really see that we have fallen short of God's standard that says that in His Word. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've all fallen short of God's standard. That's perfection, friends. I know I can't keep that. You know they can't keep that. And in the sight of a holy God, we are wicked sinners. So wicked that we would nail His Son to a cross. But Calvary, not only does it show how wicked man was, but it showed how much God truly loved us. To send His Son to die for us. Christ bore our sins on His own body on the tree. Because you see, while He was there on the cross, first three hours were in the midday sun. But in those last hours, darkness was brought across the land. And God poured the wrath for sin upon His Son. His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, was there in our place. The hymn writer could say, in my place, condemned he stood. Sealed my pardon with his blood. Hallelujah. What a savior. He took our sins, not his own, but your sin today, friend, and my sin. He died for our sins. He took our place. We deserve hell and the lake of fire. Because God is a holy and a righteous God who cannot look upon sin. Who is angry with the wicked every day. He hates sin. But he loves sinners so much today, friend. That's you. He loves you so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have ever lost in life. He sent his son to die for you. He poured his wrath upon his son. In Lamentations, there were prophesied about the Lord Jesus. He could say, is it nothing to you? 
All ye bad that pass by, behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. But the Lord have afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. God poured all the wrath and all his anger for your sin and for my sin, friend, upon his son. And his son bore 100% of that wrath. What should the wrath that should have put us in hell for eternity? Christ suffered for our sins, was buried, and rose again. As he was there on the cross, he could say, It is finished. The work for sin was complete. The word finished, it also has a second meaning. Tetelestai means paid in full. So your sin, the work for your sin, friends, is done. It's paid in full. So all you have to do is simply trust Christ as your Savior. God says you're a sinner, friend. Agree with him. Repentance and faith towards God. He says you're a sinner. Just simply agree with him. Trust his son who died for you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Unlike religion, they can never tell you for sure if you're saved, if you're going to heaven or not. All based on good works. But friend, only one work that would have any significance has already been done. That's what Christ did for you on the cross. Friend, the work for sin is finished. Trust him today. Do not put it off another day. Because Christ has died for your sins. But you're also going to die one day. For it is appointed unto man wants to die. And after this, the judgment. Friend, the judgment is coming. Christ died for you. But if you die, after you die, it's too late for salvation. He loves, he has salvation and he loves you so much. He freely offers it to you today. For God so loved the world. But tomorrow this door will be shut. It's after you die. If you die tomorrow, or if the Lord comes, this door will be shut to you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Friend, Christ died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again and he's coming back. It would be such a waste if you found yourself in hell. You have no one to blame but yourself. Because Christ died for your sin. He paid in full the debt that you owed. And all you have to do is trust Him. Only trust Him. Only trust Him. Only trust Him now. He will save you, friend. He will save you now, today, where you're standing. On the corner of Bay and Dundas. You could have salvation for time and for eternity. It can be, you can be 100% sure today that you are on your way to heaven. You are off the broad way that leads to hell. John, in the gospel of John, the Lord could say, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, listen to the words of the Lord Jesus, he shall be saved. And go in and out and find pasture. Friend, Christ died for your sins. Even though your sins were a stink in the sight of a holy God, Christ paid in full. The work for your sins. He paid in full the price that you could not pay. Your good works could never get you to heaven. But Christ died for you, friend. All you have to do now is trust him. Trust his son as your savior. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.